What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. The holidays are now behind us. I spent the morning taking down the tree. Well, my husband did, but I assisted. We have our new little my mini babies. And I have a little bit of a backlog of stuff I just didn't get to before the holidays, like Hair Amazing. These are wallet-friendly dolls I got from Walmart for $4.97. They totally give us Hair Dorables Hair Amazing vibes. On the packaging, it says they are by Extreme Play LLC. On the Walmart app, it says the manufacturer is Just Play. We have taken a look at some of the swimsuit dolls before and found that some of the items can fit a Barbie. So as requested, it's time for a Does the Fit Fit? And it looks like the dolls come in different body sizes. The packaging is pretty simple. The doll is exposed. There is an illustration on the back that says these are fashion dolls. Box art is cute. And I would have loved to have seen her with that lip color rather than the lavender. But that's just a personal preference. Here's the doll out of the box. With shoes on, it stands a little over 11 and a half inches. The hair is rooted and has a little texture to it. There are lavender highlights at the top and the rooting pattern isn't too bad. Do you see this? She's not pixelated. The eyes look very clean. We have a little blush on the cheeks and there's a shimmer on her lipstick. This doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head. Seems like it can go side to side. What about up and down? Eh, not really. Movement at the arm and at the hip. The clothes have a printed design. The fabric is pretty thin. It doesn't have any stretch. It's not hemmed at the neckline or at the bottom, but it is hemmed at the bottom of the sleeves. The top and shorts are two separate pieces. The top Velcro's in the back and the shorts have an elastic waistband. The shoes are on a serious incline and here you can see the shape of the doll's foot. Can the shoes fit a Monster High doll? It took a little bit of work to get it on my G3 Clio. This shoe is not an easy fit. The Monster High doll's feet are a little bit wider and the arch is different, so the shoe doesn't really sit flat. It's kind of at an angle, but it does fit a G1 style Monster High doll. What about the clothes? Here it is on a classic made to move Barbie body and it does fit. The top is a little snug across the chest, but I was able to close the Velcro in the back. The shorts are a little snug at the thigh, but they work. I actually like the shape of the shirt on my doll. Part of me wants to pull it apart and use it as a pattern. I've been known to do that. This is the Five Below dress. But for $4.97 with a doll, this is totally not bad and not too far off from some Barbie fashion packs with printed details. Here it is on a petite Barbie. We do get a little more room. The fit is just about perfect. I do see a little snag right here in the fabric. This doll has very long hair with light turquoise highlights. She has green eyes, a pearly peach lip color, and wears a denim-like outfit. Her pants remind me of a bunch of denim patches. She has a butterfly top that is attached to the pants and there is Velcro in the back. The shoes are kind of cute. They're clear. Here they are on my G3 Clio. They're still at a little bit of an awkward angle, but look pretty good with a G1 again. Let's try them on a Rainbow High doll. Looks like we're getting similar results to G3 Monster High. Let's try the outfit on a Barbie. I like the shape of the pants, but they are a little snug. I did get the Velcro to connect in the back, but not all the way. And if she sits down, it's probably going to give. Yep. With the butterfly top connected to the pants, I can't get it to close in the back. I think it's a better fit on a petite Barbie, but I'm still finding it difficult to close the back. We could separate the top from the pants, but we would still need a Velcro extension in the back or even longer ribbon straps. Here's the curvy doll. She has olive green eyes, a red lip color, brown hair with a little pink in front, 
This outfit totally looks like something we could see on a Barbie fashionista. The fabric has a little stretch to it, everything is hemmed, and the patterns continue onto the back. And she wears tall pink shoes. For a $5 doll? Totally impressed. We've seen a couple of different $5 dolls lately, and I've gotta say, if you are cool with oversized head proportions, these dolls are a great find. I like that they have a casual look. I've seen quite a few hair amazing dolls with a fantasy theme, but this vibe suits me a little better. And I was able to get those shorts on a Rainbow High doll. However, it wasn't easy. However, I'm having trouble getting the denim outfit past her hips. Or denim print. You know, this one. Let's try the curvy clothes on a curvy Barbie. It's a great fit. I had no problem getting the outfit on. My only complaint is that I would have liked to have seen a cleaner finish in the back. But this was a doll plus outfit for less than $5, so I'm not mad. And this skirt and top would make a great pattern. Just saying. Here it is on a classic Barbie. The top fits, but the skirt is a little large. Here it is on a petite Barbie. Once again, the top fits, but the skirt is loose. Here it is on a rainbow high doll. I think it's a little large, but you could make it work. But I think it fits best on the curvy Barbie. Here is a 35 piece fashion pack. It comes with a doll. I bought it from Walmart online for $20. Looks like we're getting about five pairs of shoes, which we already know will fit an OG Monster High. When removing them from the box, do take care. There are a lot of these little plastic pieces going through the clothes. Here's the included doll. She has green eyes, hearts on her cheeks, and a pink shimmery lip color. Her hair is like a magenta and pink. It does have some texture. Might need a little TLC out of the box. This doll has the basic five points of articulation and a little shimmer to her skin. She comes wearing a floral dress with clear straps and tulle sleeves. There are two layers of tulle here that separate in the front. The bottom of the dress is singed, but the pattern and tulle goes all the way around and it velcros in the back. We get pink heels that I wish could fit my G3 Monster High dolls but it's just kind of off. The dress is a little too large for our G3 Draculaura. These pants are too small. However, the shorts with the elastic waistband are doable. I'm trying the outfits on my G3 Clio. The patch denim pants almost work. I can get them up one leg, but the leg with the sculpted wraps, I am having difficulty. With this outfit, the shorts fit, but the top is too large. Back to the fashion pack. The other shoes are gold boots, dusty rose shoes, red heels, and lavender open toe heels. Here's the floral dress on a Barbie. I can't get it to close in the back. I think it's a better fit on a petite Barbie, but it will still need a Velcro extension to close in the back. Where we just take a small cut piece of Velcro and overlap it so the ends are out. Then we just use it to connect the Velcro. Then just use the doll's hair to cover it, and the dress is secure. I think this dress has some potential. I might remove the tool later. Ah, but check that out. The dress works perfectly for a Rainbow High doll. It even closes in the back. We get plastic hangers, three that are a gold color, and three that are silver. We get three hair pieces that look like small tiaras, four bags, these two totally look like bags that I have seen with Hair Dorable's Hair Amazing dolls. Yeah, see? This lemon wedge came with the Noah doll. It's painted on both sides, whereas the orange is only painted on one side. But now we have options. And the rainbow purse came with the Dee Dee doll. I think her name was Dee Dee. But it had fringe on the bottom and the new one does not. I even found a match for the flower tote bag. Here's one with a smile that came with our Hair Dorable Hair Amazing doll. The Hair Dorable's Hair Amazing dolls have a different body type, but their feet seem to be the same shape. And the Hair Dorable Hair Amazing dolls can fit the Hair Amazing shoes. I do like the smaller eyes on the Hair Amazing versus the Hair Dorable Hair Amazing dolls. 
Let's try this dress next. It has long sleeves that are open and reach past the hands. The top is connected to the skirt. There are cutouts on the sides. The fabric goes all the way around and it Velcros in the back. I can't get the outfit on their curvy doll. Here it is on a classic Barbie. It almost fits. The skirt fits. It's a little short, but that could also be because it is attached to the top and it's pulling it up. And I can't get the top to close in the back without a Velcro extension. It's a better fit on a petite Barbie. The Velcro almost closes. Here it is on a rainbow high doll. The skirt is a little too tight. The top is too long. The seams are pulling in the back. What if we just remove the top to get just the skirt, which does fit the Barbies? Oh, and if we take her hair down, we can almost cover up those blue streaks. Here's the next outfit. We get a pink layered skirt. It is a little stiff, paired with a black and white sleeveless top. It has a horse print that does go all the way around. It fits a classic Barbie, but the shirt does become a crop top. Since the top has a little bit of stretch, it closes in the back with no problem. It's an easy fit on a petite Barbie. The skirt becomes high-waisted on a curvy, but fits. Here it is on a rainbow high doll. The skirt is pushing the top up, so they're lifted off the shoulders. The next look has a floral print dress with a pink sheer shirt. The dress is kind of short on a classic Barbie, and it's doing something weird at the hips. The sheer shirt might be doable. It just has a large piece of Velcro at the neck. Here it is on a petite Barbie. I think it's a better fit, but still a little short. The dress seems to fit best on a rainbow high doll, but the hips are still a little awkward. Here's the pink sheer shirt, where the sleeves are just a little long. Here are some striped pants with ribbon overall straps sewn to a tube top. The edges of the tube top are singed and the patterns do go all the way around. The pants don't close on a classic Barbie. They barely close on a petite and the straps are too short. It looks pretty good in the front on a rainbow high doll, but I cannot close the pants. This outfit gives us black and white gingham pants and a cropped cherry top. Here it is on a classic Barbie. I love the pants but they don't close in the back and the top was a challenge too. But it works on a petite. I was able to close the Velcro in the back, but it might pop open if she sits down. The top fits a rainbow high doll, but I couldn't get the pants on. And here's the last look. We get a pink and black long sleeve top and a colorful skirt with a dog print. Here it is on a classic Barbie. This outfit does fit. The bottom of the skirt has a singed edge and the plastic ties did put a couple of holes in it. But I'm glad a few pieces do fit a classic Barbie. It could work for a petite Barbie and I could only get the top on a rainbow high doll. So the hair amazing fashion is kind of a hit or miss for the Barbies. And most of them worked best on a petite. But you know what? I think they would work best on a miraculous skipper doll from our Articulated Skipper video, where we put a skipper head on a miraculous ladybug body. And yes, this works. It's a little loose at the waist, but I think it looks pretty good. Everything closes in the back. There is plenty of space in this outfit. Once again, the pants are a little loose at the waist, but the overalls work over the shoulders and so does the top. The doll can sit down and the Velcro holds. The black and white gingham pants fit with the cherry top. So I am totally adding these to my Miraculous Skipper wardrobe, giving them new clothes to wear for when they come over to babysit my mini baby. Do you see how I circled back to find a way to talk about the baby? But overall, I am happy we found dolls in our collection that could fit the hair amazing fashion. And it looks like some of the pieces could fit a standard Skipper's body as well but her torso appears to be a little longer and I wasn't able to get this outfit to fit. So for those of you who had questions about the hair amazing fashion pack for $20 at Walmart, I hope this helps. And for a $5 doll, I think the hair amazing dolls are a pretty good deal and we can customize them. Just change their lip color. I changed hers from purple to pink. 
Then I put her on a made to move Barbie body. And here she is on a curvy. Wearing hair amazing curvy clothes. Thank you for joining us for another Does The Fit Fit. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time bye